Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody, to another fantastic episode of Polls! In case you guys are new here and you have no idea what this series is about, I'll post like a random poll on my community tab a couple times a month, just asking some general questions, because I'm a curious boy who likes to hear what others have to say about life. And every so often, I'll collect some of those polls and those answers, and I'll make a video showcasing the poll and those answers, talking about the poll, and showcasing your responses and comments on the poll. If you guys have seen the first two episodes in this poll series, then awesome! You already know what hell awaits you. But if you're new here and you're experiencing the poll series for the first time ever, just grab some snacks, relax, and enjoy, and also leave, leave a like. And comment below if you guys are enjoying the poll series and you want it to continue in the future. I love doing it. I think it's a fun way of interacting with you guys and shouting you out. So let me know if you love it as well. Without further ado, let's dive back in to another episode of, uh, uh, polls. Poll responses? We're still working on the name of the series. Maybe leave some suggestions down below on what we should call the series. Anyway, vamanos. All right, everyone. So uh, a few weeks ago, I asked you guys if you liked beans on toast. For 3.5K of you guys voted with 11% of you saying yes, 34% of you saying no, and 55% of you wondering what the fuck that even is, or I guess have never tried it. Now, to my knowledge, beans on toast is some fancy schmancy British dish. Now, I'm just some random schmuck from Pennsylvania, but I like to have an open mind. So maybe one of these days I'll fry up some toast and dump an entire can of baked beans on top of it and give it a try. But let's see what you guys have to say about it. I like that there are more people that are just mildly curious than there are people in both groups that either prefer or hate beans on toast. All I gotta say is don't knock it till you try it. I'm an American, but my British friend put me on it. You know, again, I like to have an open mind, so I'll probably give it a try at some point. Never tried it, but I've had beanie weenies on a croissant before, and it tastes angelic. I love the use of angelic as an adjective to describe beanie weenies on a croissant. I think that's really funny. So, of course, me being stupid, I ask what the hell are beanie weenies, and, um... I looked it up, um, <laughs> because, again, I'm stupid. Although the name kind of threw me off, this... This looks bussin'. Makes me hard as rocks, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it looks like beans and hot dog slices. Be beanie weenies. Jesus Christ, I get it now. On a croissant? Uh, interesting, okay. Yeah, I mean, I'll give it a try. Never tried it and don't plan to. I can feel the bad textures just from reading the words. I mean, alright, I get it. That's a thing? I'm intrigued. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid so. No, sorry, my family could afford things like dirt that make a better meal. <laughs> Your family could afford dirt? Ah, oh, you lucky bastard. My family could only afford bricks. I don't fuck with beans. Alright, respect. You know, some people out there love beans, and others just don't. Where's my- where's my gamer sub? Mm. Orphan food. Alright, you know what? I think this is my favorite comment from this poll. Sorry to all of my viewers um, from across the pond. Beans on toast is apparently worth in food. <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so not too long ago, I asked you guys what uh, my next phone should be. Uh, you know, I've been rocking. Let me grab it. Hold on. I've been rocking a Note A for like almost four years now. It's coming up on four years. And recently, I felt like it was time to finally upgrade. So I narrowed my choices down to the Z Flip 4, which is a Samsung device, and the Google Pixel 7. Both of these phones came out this year. I believe the Z Flip came out in August and the Pixel literally came out at the time I'm recording this less than a week ago. I just could not decide which of these phones I wanted to get so I asked you guys. I did purchase a new phone and I'll show you guys what I got in a second but first let's see what you guys have to say about this poll. So over 2.4k of you guys voted with 65% of you wanting me to get the flip and 35% of you wanting me to get uh, a Pixel 7. That's not pick folding, people. Remember, something can only fold so many times before it breaks. This is true, but let's also remember that these companies literally have machines that fold these phones constantly to determine how long the screen and hinge will last on average. And surprisingly, they do last a long time. These bad boys were designed to open and close without breaking. Look at this, you could slam it. it won't break. It's the same deal with the Z Flip. This was a sick phone back in the day. I only picked the flip one because it's not going to be me. All right. Yeah, that's that's probably why most of you guys picked the flip. Most of you believe that it's a shit phone. So if I get it and it ends up being crap, it's not going to be your problem either. iPhone 14. OK, they changed the poll statistics. At least one percent of you guys wanted me to get a, an iPhone. Um, No, I've owned two iPhones in my life. 
I had more fun with this than I did with an Apple phone. I don't care. All right, uh, if you don't care, then why did you comment, Mad? Minus three points. So like I stated before, I did get a new phone. I'm sure most of you guys can guess as to which one I went with. Yep, that's right, baby. I did it. I went with the Google Pixel 7 Pro. Hey, you guys really thought I was going to listen to the poll results? I love the concept of the flip, and I do think one day I'm going to actually buy one, but I want to wait at least a few more generations. Like, I think by the Flip 8, Samsung will have truly crafted a perfect flip phone. I was also debating on getting the Fold, but I don't really need a tablet in my pocket. And also, it's 1500 bucks. Why the f*** would I do that to myself? I went with the Pixel 7 Pro because the camera's nice. I really like the uh, the belt that the front face of the camera sits on. I don't know if you guys could see that. It kind of sticks out a little bit. Pe some people might be irritated by this. I kind of like it. It's a neat little touch that makes the phone stand out. It's rocking the latest version of Android. Look, I even got a moving background. It's loose. You whore. Look, I even got a moving background. It's it's Lucy from Cyberpunk Edge Runners. Smoking a cigarette. I think that's pretty pog. Look at it. It's pretty cool. I was going to get the regular Pixel 7. In fact, if you are in the market for a new Android device and you're thinking about getting a Pixel phone, if you want a Pixel 7, get the regular. It's the best bang for your buck. This is a little bit overkill. It was $899. The average person doesn't need the Pro. I only got the Pro for the uh, the nicer camera and the bigger screen. A couple of other things, but if they lowered it by another 100, 150 bucks, it'd be worth it. Get the regular Pixel 7. But yeah, that's the phone I went with. So YouTube recently gave me the ability to make polls using images, which is really f***ing cool. And I've been having a ton of fun with that. I believe what I'm about to show you next was the first poll I made using images. So recently, I asked you guys which bedroom you would choose. Over 4.5k of you guys voted with 33% of you. What the fuck? Political call? The fuck is a political call? Okay, no more interruptions. 4.5k of you guys voted with 33% of you saying you would want the city apartment. 38% of you guys would love the countryside bedroom and 29% of you smart individuals with a brain would pick the coolest bedroom in history. I've lived in a forest a uh, majority of my life, like 18 or 19 years at this point, and here's what I have to say about it. There's pros and cons. I don't have neighbors, which is great. So I could scream as loud as I want. I could get away with murder. Don't do that, by the way. It's f***ed up and it's illegal. It does get lonely out here, and it takes like an hour to get to a hospital. And the roads are shit. It's just a pain in the ass to navigate this place. You also run the risk of hitting a deer every five seconds. Other side of things, in a city, it's noisy, there's people everywhere, you have neighbors, traffic, but you're closer to stores. You get to see people if you're the type of person that gets lonely and wants to talk to people all the time. Personally, I would love to give the city life a try. You know, nice modern apartment. If I could get V's apartment from Cyberpunk, I'd be happy. Anyway, let's see what you guys have to say. They have to go with a motel water bed that smells like cigarettes and mildew, my guy. Ah, yes. You know, there's something about those old smelly motel rooms uh, from the 70s with bed bugs and mustard stained furniture that just, just fills me with joy. I'll drive my vroom vroom bed straight into that countryside loft. Give me my damn submarine bed so I can sleep listening to my whale brothers and sisters. Aren't there like hotel rooms underwater or something? Or did I just make that up? Those are pretty sick, except I feel like I, I wouldn't be able to get naked in them because I don't like it when animals watch me. I feel like if you choose the countryside, you would get sick of it and want the city life and vice versa. Can't win. Us humans always want what we don't have. Yeah, I, I mean, I... Completely agree with this. Humans are fucking complicated creatures. Vroom vroom. Let's go, Zach. Let's let's go. Bed gotta go vroom. Ah, excellent choice, Jules. I love city noise when falling asleep for some reason. City noise is pretty soothing to the brain. At least in a few times that like I've been to a city overnight, the background noise just makes the angry voice in my head disappear and it's really nice. Okay, my hog crankers. A few weeks ago, I asked you guys what style of car you would choose. That being classic, like, you know, an old Mustang. Electric, like Teslas. A super or hyper car, so, you know, vehicles like Lamborghinis, McLarens, Bugattis. For 4.4 of you guys voted with 48% of you wanting the classic, 26% of you wanting the electric, 14% of you wanting a super or hyper car, and 13% of you want the chick magnet. To those of you who want the chick magnet, great. You guys have a brain and I'm so happy. I, geez, do you guys remember these electric cars for kids? Maybe some of you had them when you were younger. I always wanted one, but I was too poor and could never get one. So I was stuck with this red and yellow little tykes car. That was my chick magnet. I mean, I could, let's be real, I could probably afford one of those electric cars now, so maybe I should get one. <laughs> if this video gets like, uh, I don't know, let's, let's shoot for a ridiculous number. If this video gets 2.5 thousand likes, I'll buy an electric one of these cars and I'll drive it around my neighborhood. I know, it's a ridiculous number, we're never gonna hit it, but I'm, I'm just saying, if it ever happens, I'll, I'll get one and we'll 
do something stupid with it. The classics really drive me crazy. Oh, Richard, you and your puns. You kill me, man. I'm choosing too wicked. Ah, too wicked. An excellent choice, my brother in Christ. Neither. Affordable car. Okay, well, this is supposed to be a fun pull, so minus three points, Battle Cats. <laughs> Cars are overrated. Ponies are much better. Oh, you know, if only pony dealerships existed. I, I would buy one, though. I'm not gonna lie. I'd usually say classic, but with gas prices, I have to say electric. Okay, I like this answer. Uh, the only thing I will say is that electric cars are still pretty expensive, which sucks. I mean, once you get one, you're kind of good to go, but they're really not that affordable yet. If they were more affordable, then I would totally buy one too. In fact, I, God, I really just want a Cybertruck. When's the Cybertruck coming out, Elon? When is the Cybertruck coming out? Will it be affordable? Will my punk ass be able to afford a Cybertruck? Probably not. None of these. I want a pickup truck. All right, I'm sorry, Jared, but minus three points. So I asked you guys recently whether you pour in the milk or cereal into your bowl first. Over 2.5k of you guys voted with 94% of you being normal human beings with a functional brain and 6% of you being very weird. Milk first, then you pour the cereal and afterwards you add the bowl. Uh, of course, I usually put in the spoon before the bowl. Silly me. I don't use milk at all, just the cereal. Oh, good God. Some people are just built different, I guess. I pour the bowl into the milk first. All right, got it. All right, put bowl in milk. If you say milk, you're, <laughs> you're getting sent straight to hell. Yeah, honestly, guys, there is a special place in hell for those of you who disobey universal laws. The cereal goes in first. I eat it dry. All right, I, I like... I like and also hate this answer. Like, I like it because Java, um, you aren't afraid to stand up for what you believe in, but I also hate your answer because eating anything dry is kind of weird. Milk. I said what I moth could said. This comment just radiates girl boss energy and I'm very much intimidated. You win, Paula. Uh, you win. Please don't hurt me. I don't put milk. So what do you put? Bowl, then cereal. Yeah, there really wasn't a shortage of bowl before milk answer, so... Yeah, thanks a lot, guys. And finally, I asked you guys which would taste better on a hot day. And over 5,000 of you guys voted on this poll, which is just batshit insane. Why? 60% of you guys voted for the ice cream cone, 29% of you voted for the rocket pop, and 11% of you voted for icicles. Of course, when I do these polls, I like to add in a very dumb answer. Chick magnet, the vroom vroom bedroom. Those are obviously joke answers, I like to throw them in because, you know. Polls with serious answers are boring, I like to spice things up. I like to add in very dumb answers just to mess with people. And this one apparently made a lot of people upset. Some of you got the joke, which is great, but some of you were actually contemplating whether I, uh, eat icicles off the side of my house. Does nobody wonder how you have icicles on a hot day? I, I, I don't know, maybe I just have a very strong AC unit connected to my house that literally shifts the climate of my property. Did you ever think of that, Doom Slayer? I'm kidding, I don't even own AC. It's terrible. All that dirt and grime gives the icicles a unique flavor. Gotta go with that. If I die, I die. That's what I'm saying, my brother in Christ. The dirt and bird shit just gives the sickle a nice boost in flavor, and I really like it. I mean, you know, it's not as good as gamer subs, but it's still pretty good. Y'all really out here eating icicles? Yes, we're out here eating icicles. It's delicious. Final answer for today. Having a nice piece of watermelon fresh out of the fridge and eating it outside without worrying about where the juice will land is the most satisfying thing to do on a hot day. If you haven't experienced it, I highly recommend that you do it. You won't regret it. Ah, yes. I have experienced this and it's great. You know, grabbing a slice of watermelon and eating it on a rock outside in 80 degree weather, it's, there's just something about it that's just very magical. It makes my heart feel feelings. The good kind of feelings, not the heart attack kind. Ah, this winter's gonna suck. Alright everybody, that's a wrap on today's video. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe down below if you're brand new around here. And of course, leave a comment below letting me know whether you want me to keep this series going. And leave some name suggestions down below on what we should call the series. Click the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload a brand new video. Follow me on all of my social links, you know, Instagram and Twitter. And join my Discord server, links in the bio below. Have a great day everyone. And remember that the Pixel 7 Pro is the best phone in existence.